Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what is the difference between chemical sunscreens and physical sunscreens, which one is better and which one should you get. In order to determine which type of sunscreens is better, we first must know what is the difference between them. So physical sunscreens contain physical or in other words, mineral UV filters like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and they sit on top of your skin and they protect you from the sun by reflecting reflecting the sun rays, although research shows that they can also absorb the sun rays. Chemical sunscreens, on the other hand, contain chemical or organic UV filters, and they first get absorbed by your skin and then they absorb the UV rays, and that way they protect you from the sun. Okay, now the sensor characteristics between physical and chemical sunscreens are quite different. Physical sunscreens are harder to apply and they tend to leave a white cast, so they are very difficult to work with on a daily basis. Chemical sunscreens, on the other hand, are easy to apply and they don't leave a white cast, which makes them very convenient for everyday use. Okay, now which type is more efficient in protecting you from the sun? Okay, so physical sunscreens are naturally broad spectrum, so that means that they protect you from both UVB and UVA rays, but they need to be applied more often than the chemical sunscreens. Also, physical sunscreens can be less effective if not applied and reapplied correctly because the sun can get in between the sunscreen molecules and get to the skin. Just a little fun fact, CeraVe did a survey in which they examined why people skip sunscreen and 55% of people who said that they were skipping sunscreen said that the reason was because of how it felt during and after application and 38% said that it was because of the white cast. So based on this, we can see that sensor characteristics of the sunscreen can make people under apply or just skip sunscreen altogether. So this is not something that should be ignored. Sensor characteristics are a very important part of sunscreens. Now I'm telling you this because this problem is not present when using chemical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens are easier to apply and they don't leave a white cast so people are less likely to skip applying a chemical sunscreen and when it comes to effectiveness most chemical sunscreens also provide you with a broad spectrum protection and newer UV filters offer both high and photo stable UVA protection as well. Now UVA protection is extremely important because there are more UVA rays than there are UVB rays and we don't have as many UVA filters as we do UVB filters so UVA protection is extremely important because UVA rays do destroy the collagen and cause the photo aging. So if we take into consideration that chemical sunscreens are way easier to apply than physical sunscreens and they don't leave a white cast which indicates that people are less likely to avoid applying it because of that. In that case I would say that chemical sunscreen definitely win the effectiveness round. Okay, now which type is safer though? Okay, here's the thing. So chemical sunscreens get absorbed by the skin and a small amount of some UV filters does reach the bloodstream and people are concerned about the long-term exposure to those UV filters. Now, just based on this, I cannot tell you that sunscreens are unsafe because the potential negative effects of those uh, UV filters just being present in the bloodstream are yet to be researched. And just finding a small amount of something in your bloodstream does not mean that there is enough of it to make any effect. So more research needs to be done on this so that we can know for sure. But what we do know for sure is that the health risks of sun exposure far outweigh the potential risk of absorbing UV filters whose negative effects are yet to be researched. Now, on the other hand, physical UV filters just sit on top of your skin and they don't get absorbed by the skin. So because of that, it is believed that they are a better and safer option. But physical sunscreens are more often found on the market in their nano forms. And this is done in an attempt to reduce the white cast and improve the sensor characteristics of physical sunscreens. Now I'm telling you this because there is also a concern that the nano form of physical UV filters can also reach the bloodstream. And I did some research and I found a study in which the penetration of nano form of zinc oxide was tested on volunteers. I will link a study down below if you want to read it. It is found that 0.01% of zinc oxide in the nano form reaches the bloodstream. Now that is a very small amount but it still reaches the bloodstream just like chemical 
chemical UV filters do. So both physical UV filters in their nano forms and chemical UV filters can reach the bloodstream and the amounts are very small. And as I said already, just having something present in the bloodstream in a very small amount does not mean that there is enough of it to have any effect. So my point is, I don't think that this is the reason for you to stop wearing sunscreen because as I said already, the health risks of sun exposure far outweigh the potential risk of absorbing UV filters whose negative effects are yet to be researched. And the last thing that I need to address in the safety part is the potential of both chemical and physical sunscreens to photo generate free radicals when absorbing the ultraviolet wavelengths from sunlight. And if you don't know already, free radicals are associated with UV induced skin damage and oxidative stress from which sunscreens are supposed to protect you. Yeah, I, I know and I... <laughs> It's very, it's a very big contradiction, I know. And I did find studies, both chemical sunscreens and physical sunscreens can do this, but guess what? These studies were conducted in vitro on cell lines, not on humans. So this is not enough for humanity to ditch sunscreens altogether and more research needs to be done. Then no, you should not throw away your sunscreen just based on this because these were just in vitro studies on cell lines. And on the other hand, we do have clinical studies done on humans that do prove the efficiency of sunscreen in protecting our skin from the UV radiation. So we know for sure that sunscreens can prevent photo aging and their use is supported as prevention of skin cancer. So. Please continue using your sunscreen. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on. Okay, now here is my final verdict on this whole topic. If you want to be completely safe from UV filters entering your bloodstream, then go for the old school physical sunscreen. Now, not in its nano form, but just like old school titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in their regular forms, not in their nano forms. Now, just keep in mind that this is going to be very difficult to apply every day and blend properly and uh, you know avoid the white cast. So if you don't mind that then go for it i support you and on the other hand if you're all for properly protecting your skin every day on a daily basis with super easy application and no white cast and you're okay with the fact that for now the health risks of sun exposure far outweigh the potential negative effects of absorbing uv filters then go for the chemical sunscreens and if you're waiting to hear my opinion i will stick to my chemical sunscreens and here is why, let me explain. So I think that the amount that I'm applying on a daily basis is not concerning because I apply sunscreen, chemical sunscreen on my face and on my neck throughout the whole winter, autumn, and a better part of the spring. So the time when I start applying sunscreen on my body is when my certain body parts are exposed to the sun. And that is when I wear a short skirt or shorts. So that's usually like in the end of the spring when it becomes really warm or in the summer and i apply sunscreen to my whole body only when i'm at the beach and for me unfortunately that's only 10 days a year hopefully it will be more in the future but until then i'm not concerned with using chemical sunscreens on my face and on my body now if you live by the beach and you're constantly on the beach and you apply sunscreen every single day to your whole body then i totally understand why you would choose a physical sunscreen and i totally support you go for it you know I understand it's just that there's no need for me to do that right now so because of that I will stick to my chemical sunscreens and if anything changes if I change my mind or if new research comes up I will update you don't worry okay now if by the end of this video you're not sure how to tell which sunscreen is chemical which one is physical and which one is hybrid that's the third category that I did not mention today that is the combination of both chemical and physical UV filters in a sunscreen so if you're not sure how to do that I made a free workbook how to tell if a sunscreen is chemical physical or hybrid and I will leave a link down below in case you want to get that free workbook it's completely free so if you're interested check it out and yeah that will be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye